I, Banjo T. Bear, being a sound mind and sound body. Oh, well, hello, everybody. And sound spirit. <laughs> Lave to rest, my mortal coil. Welcome to... We had to at least do something for this game. It's kind of too much... It, it's too embedded in infamy to really let go by. Yeah. Welcome, so, ladies and well... gentlemen, to our quote-unquote look at a Banjo-Kazooie nuts and bolts. Quick disclaimer, right now, huge thank you to a good friend of mine, Mecha Sonic. I forget the numbers. I'm looking that up right now, so I do not forget the numbers. <laughs> You've known the him numbers for years are... and you forgot his numbers? There are numbers at the end of the username, but uh, he was very, very nice for recording this footage for us, including one other commentary we'll be looking at later on, uh, because none of us have an Xbox One. And oh, oh, oh. unlike with me getting a PS3 to look at all the amazing Ratchet games, this is not a console seller game. It's not. Yeah. It's not even. A, it's not even a proper return to Banjo like it was initially promised. Man, I remember the day when. I got Lego Racers for PC, and I spent hours upon hours of just fiddling with the cars and the track builder. I didn't realize that the patching, like the DLC including Banjo-Kazooie from the Banjo-Kazooie series was going to be this far gone. You know, uh -huh. I'm not gonna lie, I actually do Tumbling like this opening narration. Like, the, the narrator himself does have, like, a nice charm to his voice. It's oh, very... it does. It, it kind of reminds you a little bit of a, of Cameo, a little bit. And actually, I will also say, like, any other stats we could give to this game, I will say the soundtrack is as solid as ever. Oh, yeah, like, Grant... Grant up doing his work. Yeah, Grant, Grant as far as I know, Grant's usually <clears throat> a very solid composer, regardless of the game. And I think this is, like, the, like, the most budget he ever had for making a soundtrack. Uh, before, oh, before rabbits. Oh, I remember the user is Mechasonic43. Thank you again so much. Oh, this is the radio. Meanwhile, I'm the, oh, Banjo. Banjo. Oh, this is the life. Pizza, sunshine, and not a care in the world. Meanwhile, this is Jam Jars on the radio. radio. Need a Jam Jars to spawn mountain in a fair. Freaking news, punks. Did you know it's been 10 years since. It oh, it's been more than that. Well, it's been 10 years when the What have you paid. done? What have mm, we done? We may have put on a couple of pounds. They've been out of shape. They've been out of work. Sitting around waiting for the next game. So, it's not like we've got to fight that old hag anymore. <laughs> he's really lost it in the last couple yeah. decades. We really <laughs> lost it in the past okay. couple of decades. Meanwhile, I don't, oh, know, but... I don't know how oh. she got into here considering how the second game ended, but... I mean, look She's at... been hopping. <gasps> hopping and digging for <gasps> eons. <laughs> Hey, long years to bounce back here. I'll win this time and make you cheer. And now that my oh. sisters aren't here to nag at me, I can rhyme whatever I devil damn want. Oh, boy. Nope, can't see who's making that racket. Let's take a look. Thank you, Bev. Oh, <laughs> it's going to take a little while. Okay. <laughs> I think I can still carry you. Just about anything for a quiet life. So, not going to lie, I can understand that when John Tron did his video talking about this, this is unfortunately a sad state to see them in, but had the I could still see this as a really funny satire like way of yeah. showing just how out of work they've been for the past decade. Oh my god, this intro makes me so sad. And in the trash can we see a lot of pizza our reputation. And... Also wait, wow, what's with all this stuff in here? Oh, well, it's grab by the ghoulies. Oh. Cameo. It's a Pinata. wallpaper. Okay, so... Yeah, and also I see grab by the ghoulies. Um. I hope I hope you are of a tone to the universal hatred of grab by the ghoulies because that is one of the that is a joke that they repeat ad nauseum in this game. Uh, I we, never played grab by the ghoulies. Get out of here quite as easily. Ooh. Yeah, we're moving. It, it there it cheese. Oh. A lot of physics in here, but yeah, it's uh. Oh, what's that bear thing there? It's oh, our that's head a on little talking station that tells you about that's where bottles died the first time. Uh, he got better. <laughs> yeah. Did he? Which, okay, backing up, looking at this right now, I would have loved, actually, if we had a Banjo-Kazooie game that, like, was that looked like this. Like, if this was a Banjo, like, Insane Edition. Like, this looks great. I mean, oh, yeah, barring the I character designs. I oh, hate their blockier look. Like, Jeez. Banjo's block nose just annoys me. Yeah. Is that you? Yeah, I don't like the blocky angle. Yes, it's too. me, you party fool. I'm back again and ready to rule. I doubt it. Haven't you noticed you're just a skull? We'll just play Hacky Sack again. At least I haven't got a gut. Let's rumble now. I'll kick your butt. Oh boy, time for proper gameplay, everybody. The, the, the great showdown is Oh. Okay. Who paused the game? I see we've got an SCP in the mix. 
Hello, we meet the lord of all games. Log. Greetings, oh second-rate game characters. Hey! You want to talk? Uh, who are you? My title is the Lord of Games, but you husbands can call me Log. I'm the grand creator of all video games, sucking Miyamoto, Iwata, and it just it lists everyone. Yeah, you certainly seem like a couple of logs. Your name is Odd, and you look a bit queer, so tell all I'm about it. I don't want rhymes in my presence. No, anyway. Come to sell differences. Um, basically, he's gonna. It's it's very close to that trope you see in TV where a bunch of people get sucked into an online game show, into you know a, a, an, an interstellar game show. To, Ooh, oh, jeez! Huh? And if you don't participate, we'll do this. Oh, I bet. You'll become Viva Pinata. I mean, we'll I just like become a different video I'm game. Like this, but I suppose people would actually like to take part in this game. Anyway, <clears throat> right back you go. Oh, we are a Pinata frog. Yeah, it was the pinata frog, and I think the pumpkin was from Grab by the Ghouls, maybe. In line with Banjo tradition. In line with Banjo tradition, your challenge will consist of collecting a lot of really dumb collectibles, because nobody likes like this game. I like the And I'll give Mecha Sonic this. I never knew this. Don't go that way. That way's for schmucks. Go this way, because that's <laughs> <laughs> Okay, that's kind of funny. Wow. But well, what are... Right wait, here. are they supposed to be Log's face? Uh, yeah, I think so. They kind of look, yeah, yeah, they are loud space. They just want to shoot things. Yeah, we got to broaden the demographic in in a unfortunately something very original, huh? Man, which makes it seem like we broadening know broadening the yeah, demographic. Yeah, collector. You know what? I find it funny that they chastise that whole um, genre, and yet look where we are now in terms of like the games we're getting. No, no absolutely. I mean, there's a reason why Hat and Time did so well still. Yeah. Hat and Time, Mario Odyssey. And there's so, a good, and it's also good another good reason why this game you know didn't really quite meet this game didn't really quite click with a lot of players. It's it, again I, I almost think with the tone the writing is fun in areas but I really do think it's the condescending tone of no it, it very much carries the the like aura of Ooh. I know what you want more than you do. Oh, but look at that! Give him a, By the power of video games, we're instantly fit again. Can I? Black. Can you fix my nose? I'm not a miracle worker. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, but what the fuck, fuck is this? And I do, and I don't Ew. like it, and I and I don't hate this new design for Grunty. It also yeah, seems like I a like the know, steady body. evolution of where she would have gone next after being just a skeleton. Yeah, oh, where are your previous moves? Clever. You won't be needing those. They were rather outdated anyway. Excuse you? Bird was bad in our last game. Now it seems she's extra lame. I'm exactly. guessing that was a favor in Ooh. part of Grunty. Please follow me in one of those vehicles before I change my mind. What's sad is, it's like... They could have easily cut Kazooie from the whole thing and have her have what they give her, just give it to Banjo, and nothing of value would have been lost. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, there's not many like, because just to come to the chase of this, if you've never seen this game, this is it. You don't worry. You're not worrying about collecting new platforming moves as you did in the first two games. Hope you like go kart building. And I'll just say this right now. Um, I, not that I don't get where people are coming from. I honestly don't really find um, the entire like car building mechanic quite as offensive as people insist I see it. Like I don't think it's like it's not like in a case of like Star Fox Adventures where that really was going to be like a completely different game, but they slapped Star Fox on it at the last minute. Like oh. I could see this working oh. for something oh. like Banjo. Oh it just came at a really bad time, kind of like Federation Force. Yeah. It. I agree with Jay. Yeah, and actually, yeah, that was actually really pretty solid comparison. Is that like this is not the game that people were waiting for? Far from it. I mean, it's an interesting <laughs> idea. I'll definitely give it that. I just give us a proper Banjo 3E first before you make a game like this. Oh exactly. boy, I think that, we're actually, in I think that would have solved and made this game's like reception a lot nicer if people were like, you know what, this is cool, and we had the new one that we could look forward to as well. But like. Unfortunately, apart from Smash Brothers, which we can talk about that, sad to say, we live in the timeline where this is, this has been, this right here is the most recent iteration of the Baron Bird in gaming. Mm -hmm. At this point in time, um, yeah. please make something new, Microsoft and or Rare. Or, you know, we could just have Platonic Ring. Why you slept, I've become a mechanic, building my robots to make you panic somehow. Uh, Grunty's role in this is uh, actually kind of annoying. We don't pay her quite a lot. 
Yeah, I've been cool. here for five minutes, and even I don't know how I did this. Yeah, that's also another thing I'll say that's kind of a bit iffy about. Ooh, what's this? Oh, a bumbo. You're wrench. now ratchet. Hmm. Ooh. You'll find the rusty stick to be a magical wrench that allows you to basically pick up stuff and oh. oh. Wait, uh, what? The, what? The... I'm giving you. Th I'm giving you this. Good night, sis. I'm in the middle of something. Plushy. Good night. Cat. Kick the cat. Go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that seems like something Grunty would do. That's what I I'm sorry, who is that? Cliche. Is that oh, my oh, Biddles isn't going to like that. Wait a minute, is that the polter kitty before it became a polter kitty? Mm. Pretty much, yeah. Oh no. And I'm gonna hate wondering, this fucking thing. I was wondering, I haven't played enough of this game to know exactly what Piddles actually does. Okay. Uh, she's just basically just like a little sidekick for her. But I was about to say, just going to Grunty real quick, that is one thing I'll say in terms of how she is in this game. It's like I know I've had my problems with how she was in Tui, you know, basically where she's <laughs> kind of... Let me out of here! I was about to say, <laughs> even Let me in! Had my... Let me in! I was about to yeah, say, ahead, um, oh, oh, even oh, though I have my own problems oh, with how she is in Tui, basically kind of like a non-entity throughout most of the game, in this <laughs> game, she doesn't really... Aside from, like, certain missions that you'll get in every world, she doesn't do anything in this game. She just sits there. You could run her over or, like, pick her up with the car if you have the right yeah, parts or whatever. But it doesn't do oh. anything. Oh, also, Mumbo is back. Yep. And, and he Mumbo's looks hideous, just like everything else in this game. Mumbo's I'd argue, also, I don't know what the have... design is. I think it may be the teeth. Uh, no, it's the overall that, blocky and cubicle design that I really fucking hate. Honestly, I'd say out of all the characters, I feel like Mumbo probably has it the easiest. Uh, I, okay, and I'm, I mean, okay. they give him a I thing gotta, about I gotta come clean. I do think Humble Wumba's redesign is actually pretty darn cute. It is cute. And it's we'll see her in a little bit, and offensive. I think they did a pretty fun job with it. But You're totally not that, saying that because she reminds you of your original character, right? What? I don't even think she does. I don't think I have a character that looks like her. But anyway, let's get on to the main meat of this game. <clears throat> Mumbo is no longer a shaman of magic. He works with motor vehicles. Hmm. This Mumbo's makes me motors. sad. <laughs> I know, Icky. It's like a shaman has no business getting into the getting into a garage business. No business in the industry. I like the no, remix um, of this theme, though. Oh no! Again, the they. That is also why this is a multi-part look at, particularly because I wanted uh, Mecha Sonic. I asked him if he could show off uh, the first couple worlds because there are some pretty fun ideas and fun levels we'll see. And then uh, in particular, there is a level entirely dedicated to the history of Banjo-Kazooie, which has easily, I think, the best song in this entire game. Because and... it's literally just a compilation of Banjo's best hits. I yeah, just realized like orchestration. that the base here is literally just the garbage bin that we into. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, stupid. It's, it's, it's like the most literal textbook <clears throat> definition of, um, of uh, recycling. Blech. And don't worry, beyond this, I will be skipping and or speeding up more of the building sections. So yeah, the idea is that this game introduced the new concept at the time. This You had to remember, this was new at the time this game came out, at least uh, as far as in 3D with how in much... In 2008. Uh, it's almost like Lego Racers, which... Uh, the idea uh, is like, I mentioned build. that like... What? Like that, 13 minutes ago? That too. Uh, actually, yeah, I actually didn't realize the other thing this reminds me of is it's basically like the gummy ship stuff from Kingdom Hearts, just all the yeah. time. Only more tedious. Yeah. So, I mean, so, okay, I lied. Maybe it wasn't new for the time, but it was new to make an entire game based around that yeah, purpose. I so, mean, yeah, it's like... Yeah, but I will agree, like, you know, sticking it with Banjo being questionable aside, on its own, the building mechanic in this game is actually really meaty and versatile. Oh no, you can make so many cool little vehicles, like you can make f in- it's not just cars, like you can make full-on like flying machines and stuff too. You could even make so, an 8-bit like, Super Mario car. You probably you, could, actually. Yeah. Also, no, that was literally like one of the promotional teasers they had for this game, like, wait for, wait. Oh hey, Nintendo, you like doing those fun family games? Well check out our cool, awesome oh. car-making game. I'm so sorry, I realized you I can't make a Mario and really Mario Brothers. That, that, I was gonna say I'm so sorry. I actually talked over a really funny line earlier back when they were in Spiral Mountain. Was he, when uh, Log first called them Hasbins because he was like, "Hey, we've had plenty of games." He's like, "Yes, but not quite as many as that one Italian fellow, I'm sure." Well, how many yeah. games have you had, he, Log? He was like, "Yeah, fair." There was plenty of there was plenty of slack to be given to the poor plumber. Yeah. Can I also be very picky here, just because we always like talk about voice actors and stuff? 
Uh, I don't like ahead. Mumbo's new voice. Well, least, I don't like the new voice clips they recorded. I can well, barely I mean, notice it over us talking, but whatever. I mean, I, I think it's I think it's still Greg Kirkhope supplying, supplying the voice. Possibly. Oh, and because Mecha had the DLC, he also gets the these lost challenges things there. But hmm. now our main objective is we need to drive around and get to the top of uh, Log's great gaming tower. We can still uh, get musical notes for purchasing uh, upgrades and stuff. Yeah, like and Log, upgrades. you're a lousy fucking hypocrite. I mean, I will say, like, just... Oh, hey, bottles. Oh, bottles. Oh. Bootles. Don't, don't fraternize with him. He is no one. He was a corpse. He was dead. So I was like, okay, I, uh, If you actually talk to bottles, he does actually allow you, I, I believe, through bottles, like... Uh, they called it Stop and Swap 2, I believe, or something like that. Uh, they yes. actually, like, this this game was what could actually... This is the game that you could build up to with all the Stop and Swap features in your previous, like, Banjo-Kazooie 1 and 2 e save files to From unlock the things in this game. And it's yet another reason why I really don't like this game. Because so, all it does is give you tiny little baubles that you can put in your dinky little car right here. So now that like we, a so pair now of we have fuzzy dice. So now that we have fully established Icky's opinion of this, and we Ooh. and we have uh, Hype's opinion on there too, James, have you played this game? I did, way back when. I mean, I did have an Xbox 360 to play it on in the first place. I mean, I mostly got. I think I may have gotten it because of that initial banjo trailer that that we got, which you know before it was pretty much revealed that it's all about the goddamn vehicle shit. Cars. It, it, the, that first trailer looked so fun with like the actual platforming and them running around. That looked until fun. you it realize like, it's yeah, just yeah, a yeah. CG it, animation. It, it looked like it had the the the, the usual the ingenuity that the Banjo series is known for, and then it just all tossed aside when this game when the game reveals its true colors. And what's even sadder is it's like it's not just the fact that you have to rely on these um these uh vehicles in order to get around. Banjo and Kazooie themselves are very limited in terms of their overall move pool. Is it true they can't even yeah. have like a neutral attack or whatever? Well, the wrench is so you can whack people with attack. the wrench. Yeah, but like outside of the wrench, you can't really do much. The wrench is literally yeah. all you got. It's so I guess that's a that's a big reason why people didn't really feel too kind about this game is that it literally sapped away a lot of what made the first two games enjoyable. Say what you want between James and I in our debate between Kazooie and Tui. It took a lot of what made those two games really, like, fun and stuff and basically gave it all the way to the vehicles. Which, right. again, if you like the vehicles, which I still think the system, I agree with Hype in that the system is actually pretty versatile and allows for a lot of creativity. And um, it's very open-ended where you can use a lot of different designs to clear certain missions. But, um, Didn't we go down that hill earlier? Yeah. That was great. If you like it, it'll be kind of okay. If you don't like it, this game is gonna hurt. Remember when the tutorials in the first two games were optional? Well, okay, there is a lot to take in, especially with the building mechanic. That, I yeah, will I mean, agree like, that considering, for the audience, how, this is a lot to learn. Yeah, yeah but this feels like a needless like... extra step in this case. Well, I feel it's like, like, hey, you want to go to a level? Okay, but you'll first have to unlock the level by putting the stupid globe from one end of there. the stage to put the, the other one. Open nuts. Ew. <laughs> Yay. Feel, that feels like a conquer job. <clears throat> it most likely is, but yeah. What These level portals kind of remind me of Diddy Kong Racing, if anything. Kind Maybe. of. But yeah, what were you saying there, Hype? I mean, now that I stop and think about it, I oh. just realized this probably What's would have been a little better if this was, like, something that was on a Nintendo console and was more like a follow-up to Diddy Kong Racing, because, well, those games mostly relied on vehicles. Mm -hmm. I mean, they could have used the non-Donkey Kong Country characters for this. Right. I mean, there was Honestly, Pipsy, yeah. there was Tip Top. Actually, thinking about it, the John John comparison makes a lot more sense in this case. What was that? Tip Top Snuts and Bolts. Oh, Tip Tops. Uh, yeah. Again, I agree. But yeah, again, I agree with. Uh, also, don't mind some of these little graphical glitches. A, the game's frame rate can be a little iffy, and B, uh, Mecha Song told me about this. So he does not actually have a capture card. Really? But, but there is, but there is a, a built-in. He mentioned it was like on a phone app or something. But apparently, there's like a built-in way of capturing footage from the Xbox One, like that. That was Segundo, Senor. But this is Nutty Acres Act One, so we're playing a Sonic oh, game yeah. now. 
we'll get into that in the next part. I just want to show off the main intro of this game. Uh, as you'll see in the next part, uh, another way, another thing that's different between Nuts and Bolts and the rest of the series is, whereas the series usually has a single big world that you go into, um, Nuts and Bolts usually splits it off into chapters. Which you could just go and... The same door. Okay. Well, different doors, but same way, same overall hub area. All right. It's a little iffy. Join us in the next part, as I'm sure we'll have very, very nice, concise <laughs> disagreements about the game and, and or its merits. I don't concise to that. Go home.